Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, March 21st. Let's talk about contracts and inspections. If you're writing a contract for a buyer and they're not checking the box for a home inspection or a pest inspection, we still ask that they sign a waiver stating that it's against broker recommendation that they waive these inspections. This can play a critical role if there's ever a challenge down the road. Trainings. This Wednesday, March 23rd, from 1.30 to 3, I have a trainer from Denver, Colorado, from REMAX International, coming in to talk about Lead Street and Design Center. It'll be a great opportunity to work on website design, database management, and flyer design. Then next Tuesday, March 29th at 10 a.m., I have Christine LeBrock coming into the El Dorado Hills office. She'll be talking about HUD home process and how to make the process a little bit easier. And then coming up in a couple of weeks, April 7th on a Thursday, we'll have our award ceremony down in Sacramento. Short sales. More and more lenders are asking for sellers to bring dollars to the table or to sign a note in escrow. Please keep this in mind when you're having your early discussions with your sellers. It'll make the process a little easier. Speaking of making the process easier, I have Jeff Unamene who's going to talk for a few moments about the short sale process. Today we're talking about short sale negotiations. Basically there are three phases of the short sale. The first phase is going to be your pre-qualification. The second phase is basically your lenders. And the third phase is going to be closing. So a good tip for the first phase is to pre-qualify your sellers. What is their financial wherewithal, their financial statements? What is their financial hardship? And also understand what lenders are involved. Your second phase is basically your lenders. Who are your lenders? Is it Bank of America, Chase, Citi, Wells Fargo? And then what position are they in? And you can anticipate whether or not they're going to be asking for any cash contribution or not. And your third phase is going to be closing. Understand your buyers. What are your buyers' loans going to be? Is it going to be FHA? Is it going to be VA or conventional? That will also determine how closing is going to be effective. Thanks, Jeff. Keep in mind, if you're spending money to have a short sale negotiator help you with the process, that makes a lot of sense if you're out using that time to go get other listings and work with more sellers. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time.